When I shoot a video infrared, I always thought of ghosts. I don't know why, but today our story is not about ghosts. It's worse. It's more scary. So if you are fainted-hearted, don't listen. Shut the sound off. The story began when I was in the U.S. We have a friend, uh, she's doing her master, she's from Egypt, her name is Muna. She told us, I'm gonna tell you a story, it's very scary, and you might not believe me. But we believe her because she always tells the truth, and she is a very honest person. She starts by saying, when I was in the university in Cairo, I was living in the dorm. Uh, every weekend I go to the Fayyum where my family uh, lives and spend the weekend there. One day, Wednesday, before I was preparing to leave at night, the dorm almost empty and I heard steps coming to my room and then when it reached my room she knocked tuck 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 I opened the door and I saw this beautiful lady with a white dress and she is holding a candle on her hand and I was surprised there's electricity why she's handling a candle when she entered the new room my room uh, suddenly the electricity was cut off and we only have the lights of her candle she gave me she introduced her name she said my name is Salwa uh, my family lives in Fayyum but I cannot live here so I would like you to give them this envelope and she told me to give it to a person called Muhammad uh, apparently is, is her father their house is in between the train station and my family's uh, house so I said okay I took the envelope and I went uh, to the, you know to sleep next day I went in the train and I went to, to the house that she told me to go to I knocked the door and I seen this old man. I said, is, are you Muhammad? He said, yes. He said, this is an uh, envelope from your uh, daughter. He thanked me and uh, I went home to my family. After that, every Wednesday, this the same thing happens for one year. After that, the girl didn't come anymore. So I went to the uh, principal and asked her about her. She said, I'm gonna tell you something. I don't think you're, you, I think you have a mistake, you're mistaken. The girl you, uh, you described and the same name died in your room five years ago. Oh my god and I said okay I went to my room and the weekend I took the train I went to the house that uh, her uh, father's live and uh, I went there asked for uh, you know as for Muhammad, but I got this young man and I asked him about Muhammad and he said Muhammad and I told him the full name he said Muhammad uh, died, uh, he's my grandfather and died 25 years ago so I thanked him and left to my home. I didn't tell him the story. 
and didn't tell anybody the story so they don't think I'm crazy I went back to the university I just uh, uh, continue with my life and nothing happens everything is normal I do my weekly travel to my uh, my family and I continue my study until after six months something has happened something I wish at the dawn at night this thing begin to happen again the electricity is on at one Wednesday I heard the clock at 8 o'clock I heard the clock ticking and then I heard steps coming to my room and I heard somebody stopping in my room knocking talk 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 then I opened the door and it was <laughs> <laughs> sorry it was a joke and uh, just enjoy the story uh, so next time I will say safe and easy stories uh, I would like to hear your comments and the comment section good five for now thank you for listening if you reach up to now then you're very brave thank you and goodbye